Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and today Apple released iOS 10.3 Beta 5. I've installed it on my iPhone 7 Plus, so let's take a look. As we get closer to the final release, to the public of 10.3, we're going to see less and less actual physical changes as far as features, anything like that. Those are pretty much locked down. But for me, it came in at about 462.2 megabytes. And let's take a look at the version number. This particular version is 14E5269A. And like I said, there's not a whole lot new that you're going to see here. In fact, Apple's notes don't really know anything new. They don't know any new bug fixes from the previous one, and they don't show anything old either. They say they have the same known issues with SOS not working other than within India, and it doesn't really go into any detail whatsoever. It just says, here's your beta, and there you go, figure out what else is new. So it's probably just bug fixes, I would imagine, at this point. They're just refining it, locking it down, things like that. And battery life on beta 4 was really, really good for me. In fact, I took a screenshot and you'll see here that it's four hours, 50 minutes of usage, 17 hours of standby, and I had 60% left. Now, that's going to depend on what you're doing. Obviously, if you're texting all day, things like that, that's going to make a difference. So if you're texting, it's going to bring that down some. And I was texting, but if you're texting all day long or playing a game, it's going to bring that number down quite a bit. But it doesn't really matter. It's been better than the previous builds for me, and it feels pretty stable. I didn't have any anything lock up, nothing restart. I didn't have any of the screen reloads, anything like that. Nothing really has been out of the ordinary now. All the widgets work fine and that's really all there has been. As far as this wallpaper goes, this was sent to me by two people. This was actually sent to me by Cameron and also Mirko Kolak. Both of them sent this, so I appreciate that. If you'd like to send your wallpapers in for maybe consideration of putting them on these videos, you can do that and follow me at Zolotech. Just send me either a tweet with what you have as far as your wallpaper, or you can email me at Aaron at Zolotech.com and I'll check them there. But if you have something, please send it in. I tend to like brighter wallpapers or more colorful wallpapers. If you found anything that maybe I haven't mentioned, I've looked all over the place. Really all I could find was from beta four that when you were installing the update, it kind of just told you that you were installing the update instead of just leaving a an apple there with a status bar. Otherwise, there's nothing really that we can see new. Everything has been really fast. I haven't had any issues. Some people have asked me to do benchmarks and I tend not to do that because those numbers really don't mean anything too much. If you have a 50% difference, then they're going to, but really in everyday use, that number really isn't going to mean a whole lot. Load times and speed comparisons, things like that we can do at the end when it's finally released to the public. But as far as benchmarking from beta to beta, I've done a little bit of that, but you're really not going to be able to tell a whole lot from that as far as the speed improvements. We really want to see the speed improvements on the final, so we'll do that in those videos. So that's pretty much it with beta 5. There's not a whole lot new going on, but basically they just keep refining it and it gets better and better. And then I would expect probably about a week or two before we see the actual final release or maybe even a beta six. We never really know what Apple's going to do as far as that goes. Hopefully we'll see a March Apple event where we'll see maybe some new iPads and who knows what else. And then in June, we'll have WWDC where we'll actually see iOS 11. So I look forward to that. If you have any other questions or comments, let us know in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.